Hey guys, this is Kasim from Game Previews, and here's some more Pokemon Go information. So before I begin, I just want to say two things. First of all, this reviewer seems like he or she was really expecting this game to be like the main series game. I'm guessing because he or she didn't really look up on Pokemon Go in general. Uh, they just sort of got the a beta app and then sort of expected it to be like the main series game. So the final thoughts in this uh, beta person's review uh, does suggest that he or she wanted it to be like the main series game. But the information that they give is still solid, and hopefully, since you guys already expect this game to be a slightly different than the main series games hopefully you guys do feel like this game is coming along pretty well um, and then the second thing is that I haven't been making a lot of videos lately because I've been getting ready for some exams for school so you guys probably won't see a lot of uh, videos uh, up until April 27th after that I'll be home free and I'll be making a lot more videos but um, thanks again for being patient with me and hopefully you guys like this video so let's just start so first things first is that there every asset in this game has not been fully implemented so one of the things are the professor in this game does not have a final design yet so when you first open up the game and are greeted by the professor who talks to you, um, the the image of the professor is just a shadow silhouette. So, so far there is no design for the professor himself. So let's just keep going on. So then the user goes over just the mechanics of creating your character when you first turn it on. It's something that we've already seen, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, but yeah, it's whatever you've seen in the videos before. You sort of just make either male or female and then put on some gear and then you're ready to go. So let's keep moving on here. So again, for the most part, this user does seem to go over pretty much everything we know, but then when it comes to the gyms, uh, we get some new information. So when you first go to a gym, like for your first time ever, you actually get greeted by the professor who I was talking about who still does not have an official avatar, but you do get greeted by him and he asks you what team you want. So the teams are uh, red, blue, and yellow, and you sort of just pick from there what team you want. And if that gym uh, was unclaimed, then that gym becomes that color of the gym. So in this case, the user chose team yellow, uh, which is what I'm going to pick. Let me know what you guys are going to pick in the comment section below. And then uh, they, uh, they, yeah, so they got team yellow and the gym turned into a yellow gym so that's what happens there so then this user just went over the gym battling mechanics uh, which is something we already knew but just to get their opinion on it uh, they said you can tap to do one move and hold and release to do the other move which is presumably the quick attack and the super charge attack or whatever you want to call it um, but the person said that it seemed to be like a spam show because they decided to just keep tapping because they thought that was the most uh, efficient way to actually beat your opponent um, but they also thought it was oddly fun now this person says that uh, they expected it to be like the RPG style of the play Pokemon games from the main series games so obviously they came into this sort of blind they had no idea what to expect uh, but since you guys do know what to expect I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this and the person still said that it's oddly fun so uh, there is that as well so let's keep moving on so this information I've never heard anywhere else so it's kind of interesting so if you go to a gym and join that gym that is the same color as you and you want to become the gym leader of that gym you actually have an opportunity to fight the people that are part of your team to work your way up to become the Pokemon master of that gym um, I think that's really cool uh, and it's a way for people to train and guests together and also it'll be more competitive uh, even within your own team so that's really cool and I no one's talked about that yet but I'm really liking that mechanic so just again if you want to become the Pokemon master of that gym even if you aren't there first uh, you still have an opportunity to become the master as long as you can beat everyone uh, but there is like a tier so you got to fight the first opponent and the second one it's kind of like going into another uh, opponent gym and trying to work your way into beating their entire roster to claim that gym so it's kind of the same mechanic there so yeah I just decided to look at that post and just pick out things that we haven't really talked about yet but the post actually goes through the entire process from beginning to end so if you guys do want a refresher you guys can always just watch my videos or uh, I'm thinking about linking this I'm not sure yet just in case the person gets banned uh, if the person ever does get banned for sure then I'll just link it because there's no point uh, but at this point I probably won't be but uh, yeah it pretty much tells us whatever we've seen in the past um, but these were a little bits tidbits that I thought were interesting and no one's really talked about so hopefully you guys found that interesting again guys sorry about not making videos in the past couple of days hopefully when school's over I'll be back into my normal schedule but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are into pokemon go and gaming news in general please consider giving me a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one all right guys thanks bye